The program provided in the starter code tab is written to display as stretch as per the expected output given below. But the code is having logical errors. Debug the program using Eclipse debugger and correct it. So this is the expected output. In the first line, it has to print five asterisk symbols, then four, then three, then um, hmm. two, and finally one. And this is a, I believe this is a right angle triangle. Here is the code to get uh, uh, started. So count to one, count to two, count to one less than five, uh, star, only empty space it has. Then it checks while counter greater than count to one. Then asterisk symbols are getting added. Then finally, counter 2 is getting incremented. Counter 2 is equal to counter minus 1. This is a equivalent code. Then we print the star. Then finally, increment counter by 1. Let's copy the code, put it in Eclipse, and see how it works. So if you run the, run the code on Eclipse, this is the output we get, only 5 asterisk. To go uh, what went wrong, uh, let's debug this. So to debug a code, you need to have a breakpoints. So I'd like to start the break. If you double click on this, you will have a breakpoints. So I'd like to start from here and end here, right? Then after doing this, go for, click on this um, uh, spider symbol, uh, not spider. Click on this symbol and you will see uh, things are getting changed. Yes, we are going to switch the perspective, yes. The perspective is switched, then we'll have to use this um, there is a step into and step over. So we'll try step over to understand what happens. So we can actually press the F6 as well. Let's try F6, step into. So the value of counter is currently 0. And the value of counter is 5. Now you know that while counter 1 less than 5, 0 less than 5. Yes, condition is true. It comes in. Star, it is a string variable which has an empty string. Then now it checks counter 2 greater than counter 1. So value of counter 2 is 5. Value of counter 1 is 0. So 5 is greater than 0. Yes, condition is true. Then we'll move on. The value of star. Uh, now we, we, we the, the condition is true, it comes in. So now star has an asterisk. Now counter value, uh, counter 2 uh, will get in, decremented. 2 is 5, right? Then the value becomes 4. 0 greater than, sorry, 4 greater than 0. Counter 2 is 4 greater than 0. Condition is true. Yes. So another asterisk is added. You can see it here. Then try again. Value of 3, counter 2 is 3. Another asterisk, third asterisk is added. Right? Now we check. Fourth asterisk is added. And finally, Counter value is 1 greater than 0. Counter 2 is greater than counter 1. Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Condition is true. 5 as to 0 added. Then comes in. Uh, 0 greater than 0. Condition file. It comes out. Now you will see the output here. It prints the value. Prints all the 5 as to Then what happens? Counter 1 getting incremented. Now counter 1 will become. Counter 1 will become 1. It was 0. Now it has become 1. Now. Counter 1 value is um, 1 less than 5. Condition is true. It comes in. So the value which we had before, now it will be um, uh, freed, right? It will have empty string. It is overwriting because the next line we will have to process this four times so that we will have four asterisks. The third iteration we will process these three statements three times so that we will have three asterisks. So that is the reason every single time the value of a star, the string, is getting uh, freed. Now problem is it is not uh, executing this. Why? Because counter to value is uh, 0, 0 greater than 1, counter 1, but the condition is not working. So we, we find that there is a mistake in this line. So all we need to do is as we set, as we reset the value of star, we also need to reset value of counter to every single time. I mean for every single outer loop iteration so that it will have 5 every time <coughs> it will process for the first time value of counter 1 is 0 and counter 2 is 5 so 1 to uh, 0 to 4 5 times executed second time counter 1 will be 1 then counter 2 will be 5 so 1 to 5 1 2 3 4 so when it becomes 5 the condition is failed so 4 times will be executed the third time when the counter value is 2, right, counted uh, 2 value is 5. 
then what will happen between 2 and 5 2 3 4 so 3 times uh, the inner loop will be executed what if the loop then fourth time the value will be 3 then 3 4 2 times will execute right? then finally 4 the value will be uh, 4 so 4 and 5 only once will be executed so that is how in the first line it prints 5 as three, then the second line it prints the third uh, th 4 as three, then third line 3 as three, then 2 as three, finally 1 as three. that is how it works so let me save this and reset the code let's start now and see how it works corner 2 value is getting decremented we get 3 asterisk and then we get 4 asterisk then finally we get 5 asterisk count while loop fails and comes out one time it, it prints then counter value is in incrementing to 1 and counter 2 will be reset to 5 come back and see counter 1 is 1 counter 2 is currently 0 now we will have to reset it to 5 counter 2 becomes 5 then we get this is how it works then 4 asterisk right comes out of it print the value now you see this 4 asterisk are getting printed keep clicking on f6 you will have this time you will have 3 asterisk comes out prints the value then goes back now 1 asterisk then 2 asterisk prints it comes out and finally one asterisk right prints it that's about it right let's run this and see what happens step into finally that's the end of it yes